Good evening and welcome to what is now day five of the floods and cleanup on Mountain View. I am Wale Ali. Kimberly Hunt has the night off. This is South 42nd Street. It's a dirt road right now. It used to be a regular road, and of course the floods came on Monday, and the cleanup has been happening all week long. I'm standing by a table where volunteers have been handing out food for people. There's a lot of work that's still being done. You see this person in their front yard. They've been working trying to get their antique car set up. He actually told me that his cars did start, which was actually good news. A lot of the folks on the street, their cars didn't start. That's just one of the things that they're dealing with. They're also dealing with the damage inside their homes. A lot of people are having to literally remove everything inside their homes because they were a total loss. And now they're also dealing with insurance claims. I got to be honest, I've seen a lot of tears all week out, the, all week long that we've been out here. This is just emotional. One of the people that we've been talking to uh, this week, and a lot of people have been asking me about her, her name is Perla Lopez. Uh, we mentioned her, uh, if you were watching earlier this week on Tuesday, she had just lost her mother-in-law right before the floods came and it was a lot for her having to deal with two tragedies at once i caught up with her again today just seeing how she is handling all of these emotions at the exact same time at the same time you're dealing with this you all are also dealing with funeral arrangements for your mother-in-law yeah how is that going you're doing two things at once i feel bad now i feel yeah. bad yeah what are you feeling uh, sometimes I I open my eyes in the morning and I see, you know, around because I'm working hard for this. A lot of years I'm working for my house, for together with my family. I'm crying and my husband, he's give me a heart and he said, you need to strong. This is a material. Maybe Taking a time, the first is the uh, save your lives, save uh, you 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 have life, and more uh, you you healthy. You need to start strong for. They want you to be grateful for, because you still have your life and you can still be strong for others. But at the same time, you're struggling when you look yeah, around you. Yeah, I see. I see my mom. I see my mother-in-law. My mother, my mom, yesterday she's crying and he's give me a heart when I'm here, I, I clean and he said, don't worry, this is this, this is material, yeah, mama, it's material, but you know, I start to work for, for this play, None, you know, I, I don't feel good. This is work that you've been doing for a long time to build up to what you have now and it's all gone like yeah. that. Yeah, in seconds. In seconds, yeah, and the more, more, more my heart is more broken for my mother-in-law. You know, when I see the body, is I don't feel good. It's a lot I, to take emotionally right now. Yeah, I have more emotion. I take a pill for relax, relax. Yeah. I need to start relax because uh, if me I cry, and my mom she see me and she's crying too and I need to start strong. Yeah. We've seen a lot of tears this week. One of the things that is making not only Perla but other people we've seen very emotional is some of the confusion with insurance, people not knowing exactly what to do, having maybe language barriers, trying to deal with their insurance companies. We're going to have more on that part of the story at 6. I'm going to take you where we are right now. This is the creek right behind their homes that overflowed, overflowed and flooded their street. And you can see a lot of the creek still remains untouched, unclean. Now, crews will be out all weekend trying to clear more trouble spots along Choyas Creek today. We caught up with a team cleaning out the muck at 34th Street and Alpha in South Crest. When we asked the city spokesperson how much work there is to do, they told us they found 70 different spots along Choyas Creek that needed cleaning. It's a laborious task. Diggers need to do it scoop by scoop and trucks need to keep cycling in and out to haul the junk away. The city says they're trying to get as many spots as they can before the expected major storm late next week. Now damage.